What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and today we're going to be upgrading my PlayStation 4 to an SSD and twice the size of the original storage. So right now I have an internal hard drive. It is a standard 5400 RPM hard drive, that's the speed, and the size is 500 gigs. This is almost one terabyte and it runs up to 20 times faster. Now even though it says up to 20 times faster, not necessarily every game is going to load that fast. Still 90%, there it goes. So I'm uh, pretty much a minute and 55 seconds. So it takes a minute and 55 seconds to load Grand Theft Auto 5. All right, so what you're going to need is you're going to need an SSD, a USB to store all your saved games, so you save data. So if you're far in a game, make sure you save it to a USB drive. And you're going to need a second USB and this is gonna be the PS4 update. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the steps how to do that right now. Let's click on the USB. I'm just gonna show you what I did. You have to format the USB and you wanna format it to default, FAT32. Make sure you use a USB that is over two gigs. Hit OK and close. Let's go into the USB drive and we're gonna right click and click on new, click on folder, and in caps PS4 and create a new folder and in that folder right click click on new folder and type in up date okay leave that open for now and then go to this website playstation.com I'll leave a link in the video description below so what I did wrong is I clicked on this right here I clicked on English clicked on download update do you want to perform a fresh install? That's what you want. And then click on download right here. And then click on, well, you wanna save it to your desktop so you, you, know, you know where to find it. It'll be in your download folder otherwise. And then we have, well, it's gonna take two minutes to download. So this is the, actually the correct one. This is the 876 megabytes. And the other one was, um, uh, I think 300 something. Yeah, 331 megabytes. So this is a whole entire firmware. So now what you want to do is open up the update folder and drop it right in that update folder. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our saved data onto a USB drive. You want to plug it into the USB port, of course. So you want to go to settings right here. Hit X, application, saved data management. Click on saved data. Select upload to online storage. If you have PlayStation Plus, choose that option. If you don't, choose copy to USB. You want to go ahead and hit the options button. Select multiple. You can select all right here. And then click on copy. All right, so now it's copying my saved data. All right, next we're going to turn off the PlayStation 4. Power off. And before you unplug anything, make sure the white light on the power button is uh, completely turned off. On a PlayStation 4 Slim, you're going to pop the back panel right here. Just slide it sideways. On a PlayStation 4 Original, it's the top panel, the smaller top panel. Ah, there you go. And the hard drive is right here. Once you get a micro screwdriver, you remove the top screw right here and it should slide out pretty easily. There we go, just like that. And you got those four screws. Let's go ahead and remove that screw. And then it pulls out right here. And you notice that um, it's upside down. The circuit, you can see the circuit board, same as the other PlayStation 4. And then you're going to remove those black screws. All right, let's go ahead and remove that. And you can um, always keep this somewhere safe because you can always use this as a backup. Get the SSD out and turn this PS4 into a beast. So we're going to put it the same exact way as the other one. Line up the screws. It's going to look like that when you slide it back in. The handle is going to be right here. Push 
it in. Make sure it's secure. Grab that screw. We're going to lock that in. Okay. Let's go ahead and unplug this for now because we don't want the um, startup to get confused. Now you want to take your USB update and then plug it in. Press and hold the power button for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now you hear that beep, then release. Next, you want to take your USB and then you want to take a USB cable, and plug it into your controller. All right, and then you want to choose the bottom one, number seven, initialize PS4, hit X, and make sure it, it's connected. All right, so press X, connect a USB storage device. That's what we have. We have the USB storage device connected. All right, hit OK. All right, so we're getting somewhere, finally, this is it. Uh, what I did wrong, I guess, is the first time I did was I installed the wrong update. I used the small update, which was a 333 megabyte update, and I didn't format the USB drive. So this time, I formatted the USB drive to a FAT32, and then installed the right update, which was a fresh firmware uh, install, and that was a 800 or 900 megabyte uh, firmware. So make sure you choose the bigger file and put it in the proper folder. Let's go ahead and hit yes. Boom, this is it. We're doing it. Oh man, I got the SSD ready. Oh man, it's a beast now. I have SSD in my computer and it's freaking flying fast. I could boot up my computer in 20 seconds. That's it, it's working. From this point on, you just follow the prompts. Next, next, next. Oh, uh, booting up. All right, hit English. Next. All right, so now we're up and running. Went through the whole setup wizard. You wanna go into your PlayStation Store and sign in using your username and password. If you forgot that, just click on forgot password and it's gonna um, send you a link to, um, to your email. So make sure you have at least your email so you can recover your password. You go to your library, click on library, and then click on purchased, and now that's another way to um, download all your games. That just takes a really long time. It's better just to put all your games on a USB hard drive, like I did, the external USB hard drive, and then you can transfer the games back to the SSD. And if you don't have PlayStation Plus with all your saved data on, on the Sony Cloud, you wanna to go to Application Saved Data Management, click on that, and then plug in your USB with all, the, all those saved uh, games, or well, saved data from your games, your gameplay, basically. Uh, but since I have PlayStation Plus, it's gonna auto-upload to all the games that are downloaded on my SSD or on my system. Now, that game should load a lot faster. So I have my stopwatch. Let's go ahead and start it. Ready? Start. Start. And see how much. It took almost two minutes. Almost two minutes to load the game. And right now we're at 10 seconds. That's it. So a minute, 30 seconds versus two minutes. So if you guys are interested in upgrading your PS4, making your load times load twice as fast, maybe even faster, go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. Uh, it helps support the channel, that link. Uh, also, if you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on that subscribe button right here or down below. If you wanna check out my other PlayStation 4 how-to videos, click on the playlist right here. And if you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them and help someone out.